burning. What's that? There's no need by so much time. How will I not like plantain? I've been forgotten that I'm a plantain seller's butter. Plantain will be grow on your head. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be grow the full plantation on your head. Is that right? Since when you smoke. Since when you smoke plantain, you know they die. Yeah? <laughs> ah, leeches. Get your miserable selves out of this place. <clears throat> Kima, let's go, please. Where are you going to? I don't want any problem. Please, let's just go, I beg. Let's leave this people. I don't like problem, too. But when problem comes to me, it is not in my DNA to run away from it. Never. Okay. So we are not going anywhere. And also, is it because of these three misplaced priorities here? You are very stupid for calling us misplaced priorities. Kimba, let's leave these people and just go in a bed. Oh, well, it is too late for both of you to run away. And who says we are running away? Or so, can't you see me standing here in front of you? Mm. Or move <laughs> Really? It is the audacity for me. Mm. Sorry, Ovi. Before it gets real, let me remind both of you that we are the actors in this school. The pioneer of it. The deserving students whose admissions yeah. we are just stinking rats who crawled from the rush of misery and got admission scholarship into the school that is big far beyond your world so in other words that is what is being so the thing now is that we got scholarship into the same school as you are oh yes you should find that as a privilege it's a privilege you know it's not really our fault, eh? That you so-called rich students have zero, absolutely zero intellect. Um, don't you dare. Don't you dare. And if she's there, what will you do? Okay, what will you do? Hey. For you? Try it. What best. will you do? You want to carry your jabber skills, yes. You have been on hey. the street. I have seen things. Please, please, please. Hey, 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 hey what? Do not take ah. don't, don't, don't. About fighting in school, you this girl. You met my mini. Eh? What is your problem? Mom, so should we fold our hands and allow them to keep attacking us? Should we? I mean, these girls are very mean. And if we don't fight back, they're going to keep bullying us. Ma, it's, it's very true. We are always on our own in that school. We were confided in our space when these girls came at us. We are not handicapped that we will allow them to be molesting us anytime they feel like. Ma, the truth is that if we don't fight back, these girls will keep doing this thing all the time till we will leave that school. What if their parents attack you? Eh? What if their parents come for you? You know how all these rich people act. They can do anything when it comes to their own children. No matter 
matter who is at fault, even if it's their children that is at fault, they will attack the poor ones okay, because so we are mommy, poor. Are we not humans too? Are we not humans? So because we are poor, we should fold our hands and be accepting every rubbish that they give to us. There's no justification for this now. This girl don't In fact, I'm even disappointed that you are thinking like this. I did not say you should... They would just... Hey! Hey, Dorian, no. See your head. See you to see your mouth. Eh? Now, is it good the way you, have, you girls have bruises now because you want to fight? But can't you just walk away? Can't you walk away? Must you fight? Until they will kill us one day. Are you going to your house? So, so where are you going to? Bob. Yes, ma'am. I ask you again, and for the very last time, what happened to my son's face? Honey, welcome. Honey, welcome, honey, welcome. And, uh, what is going on here? Look at, look at my son's face. He's telling me it's, not, it's nothing, babe. Bob. Yes, Honorable. I need you to quickly explain to me why my son's face has a scratch. I am losing my patient. Talk to me! Honorable, sir. It was a mistake. I'm so sorry, sir. It was a mistake, a sir. Mistake? It will never happen again, sir. Mistake? Do you know the son of whom you are driving? Huh? I'm so sorry, Honorable. I'm so sorry, sir. Come here. Come here! Honorable, sorry. I said. Just say sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't even want to say what happened. Honorable, I'm sorry, sir. It was a mistake. Next time! Happen, Next time this happened! Consider yourself jobless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Honey, was that necessary? Why did you beat him? When roaches get too comfortable with the chickens. They begin to form an alliance. Only reality divulge their bewildered illusions. Yes, it was necessary. And the Lord you to destruction. Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake Ma, this is really unfair. This is really unfair. You, you only asked myself and Emelda to kneel down. What about the pioneers of this fight? It was their fault and you know it. Papa, would you shut up? And don't you ever lecture me on how I choose to discipline my students. If you had left, it wouldn't have resulted to this. Ma, you're taking their sides. I'm not taking any sides. From my judgment of the whole thing, both of you are at fault. Yes. If you had done the needful, it wouldn't have resulted to this madness. So next time, learn to respect individual spaces. Yes. Three of you. Wait for me in front of my office. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you just imagine? No problem, no problem, babe. No worry. Is it now a crime to be poor? She is to kneel down. Is it not to kneel down? I will still do this. Yeah, let's pick up. I'm sorry. She's I won't continue doing this. Three of you are always, always at fault. And I keep defending your irrational action. It has to stop. But you don't expect us to fold our hands and watch them rub shoulders with us. No. No. They deserve it, just like every other student. They merited it. And their scholarship is based on it. It still doesn't change the fact that they are from a poor, stinking background. Good. Why must this school grant such people scholarship? Of all schools, why must it be this school? But, you know, and I blame your own performance. I can't imagine being in the same class, in the same school, with people that are far below my status. Mm. Now I know where your problem is coming from. You are having complex issues 
and you feel you're better than them. Yet, they were granted privileges which placed you and them on equal relevance. That, my dear, it's a very bad complex. And you have to learn how to, to do away with it. Miss Lola, do not forget who gave you this job. It's either you are on our side or else. Or what? I ask, or what? And you are threatening me. Oh, so you think because your uncle is the vice chancellor of the school, that placed you on a pedestrian to act as will? You've got nuts. I am just saying, do not forget how long it took you before you eventually got a good job here. There are lots of people out there who are willing to grab your space at any given opportunity. And so you know, I have all it takes to officiate it. So play your game well. And I heard it all, Mr. Ola. Yeah. Did. So you punish those innocent girls just to liberate the wicked ones, right? You left them outside. So what's the difference between you and these girls? You had to stoop solo just because of a mere threat that you'd be sacked. Where's your dignity as a lecturer? Hmm? You just say there's none. and can never be a mistake. It's heartbreaking. It's heart reckoning. You need to see the way the poor are treated in that place. It's not bad enough that the students are bullying us. Now, 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 the teachers have joined in. This is not fair now. To be poor, is it a crime? <sighs> Did you tell the principal about this? Yes. I've told, I've told the principal, even Kim has told the principal, but it has made no difference, Mom. It has made no difference. It's almost like two walls are trying to collide. Like, it's simultaneously affixed into a thin layering. It's not working. It's okay. Come on, me. <laughs> Come on. My fine daughter, please be strong, okay? Your final exams are coming up soon. What you should do is pass with flying colors. Be the best you can. The best revenge you can give to anybody that downcasts you is to be successful. Be successful. Overwhelming success. And I know you can do it. I believe in you, Imelda. The power to change your fate lies in your own hands. Anybody that looks down on you, make sure you show them that you can be successful. Be successful, my daughter. Success. Overwhelming success. And I know you can do it, my precious daughter. Shoti Bo Komi. Ishi Ma. Ishi Wa Mami. Ishi. Mami, you just have a way of making me feel good. I don't make you feel good. Who else will make you feel good? You are the only surviving child I have. Eh? Bele. <laughs> Come. <laughs> okay, so it's time to eat, right? What do you want to eat? <laughs> what do I want to eat? Oh, yeah, now go and bring. No, not rice today. And that, you go see soup that we cook to go. You go see jebunye. Go and bring it. Let's eat and make a bar. No, mommy, we are eating rice today. Ah, you are right. You see these children? You are right. Hey, I'm 
Hands, baby girl. What's up? I'm good. How far? I'm okay. See, let me tell you. Hmm. You see, the earlier those girls realize we rule the school, mm -hmm. the good for them. <laughs> that is, but wait, too. you have to make sure Miss Lola leaves the school. That woman is no longer on our side. Hmm. But how possible is that? My uncle is the VC of the school. Oh. Hello, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm still thinking how you're going to achieve it. Tina, let me quickly remind you that I gave that lady that job. And if she messes up one bit, I'll plot against her in the school. And she will have no choice than to run for her life. Trust what your girl can do. <laughs> That's my girl, Chop Knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, wait to. Where is Joy? What's keeping her? I don't know. I, don't know. I have to call her again. But meanwhile, did you even understand what that lady was not saying in the class? Like, I don't understand anything. Hey, ladies. Hey, listen, I. I mean no harm, okay? Go and tell that to your accomplices because clearly you missed your way. No, no, no. I'm at the right place. I'm where I want to be right now. And those are no more accomplices, okay? <laughs> Hi, Melda. I was wondering, can I get your number? Why? I mean, I would really like to talk to you later today. You're talking to me already, so say whatever you want to say here. Okay, can I have like a moment? She said whatever you want to say, say it here. Is it not here she's using to listen? She's listening. I, I, I really like you, Melda. And I want us to be close friends. I mean, if that's okay by you. Whoever told you that you can swift your deceptive self into my friend's life is a bloody pathetic liar. So this is another rich people's scheme you do around here to mock us. No, 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 that's not true. Like, from the depth of my heart, I really like you. For real. And I just want to be friends with you. Please see me as Benjamin, not as a, as a rich man's friend. Okay? Fine, I'll give you the number. Uh-uh. Just like that. I mean, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, in that case, I suppose I can't continue being the enemy, so... Let me use this moment to apologize for slapping you the other day. I'm sorry. I mean, why did it take you so long to apologize? <laughs> because rich people, their arrogance just aches me. Ah, I thought you were one of them, but maybe you're a bit different, a bit. Yeah, I'm not like them anyway. But you're just friends. Kima, what do you think? About what? Of oh, Benjamin, of course. This is what we that pretend. <laughs> so you don't think <clears throat> that I know that you like him? No. <laughs> no, don't even bother trying to lie. It's not, it's not even your DNA. You don't know how to lie. I've seen you stealing glasses at him several times now. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Wait, and you didn't think you should say anything? Uh -uh. What was I supposed to say or do? <laughs> Bring a knife and pluck out your eyes so that you don't stay again. Baby girl, there's freedom of sight and mm -hmm. it is a natural privilege. <laughs> it's just that I didn't know that there would eventually come a time when you both will be friends. But he's cool though, he's cool. I like him for you. It's not bad, bad. Yeah, it's just okay. Okay. It's just okay. I think he's cute. Look at this thing. Ding, ding, ding. I think he's cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, hi. hi. Um, no, no, thank you very much. We're almost home. Really? Yes. Almost home as well. Please come in. Come here, right? I'm right here.
just want to get on my wrist. What do you think about him? Who? Benjamin, of course. Look at this one with her pretense. <laughs> you don't think that I know that you like him? No. Mm. Ah. No words. Don't bother denying it. You're not even good with lies. I have caught you stealing glasses at him several times. So stop it. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, no. So why didn't you say anything? Yeah, you thought you were asleep. What, should, what, 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 what was I supposed to say or do? Bring knife and cut out your eyes so you don't stay again. <laughs> My dear, freedom of sight is natural privilege. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I cannot stop you from looking, but... You know, I just didn't think that there would eventually come a day though that you guys will now be friends or stuff. Hmm. But it's okay. He's a cool guy. I like him for you. It's not bad. It's not bad, but. Yeah, it's not bad. He's really cute. <laughs> look at this one. Look at all your smell. For, for boy, for boy. Ah, wait, wait. Is this what mommy taught you? Is this ah. what mommy taught you? I will tell. I'm going to tell. I don't think he's really cute. Well. I don't deny it though. I don't deny it. It's okay. It's just okay. It's just okay because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey ladies! Hey. Hi. Can I give you a ride? Uh, no, we're almost home. Almost home as how? You and who? Don't mind how. Please, our house is very, very far. It will take us one hour to get there. It's very far. Please, please, please come in. Thank you. Yes, come in. Come in. Yes, mom. Mom. Hi. Ben. Um, who, who showed you my house? She might give me a house address. God, I told her not to. Why would she do that? Come on. That's not how to treat a guest. I'm sure I told you better than this. You're welcome in. Just go and attend to him. Alright? Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is not the place you should be. I'm so sorry, I really need to see you. Okay? Come and sit down. Thank you. Sorry, I put Kima on the hold of the pressure and you didn't have her there. I'm sorry. What can I offer you? I mean, anything you eat, I'll eat. Man is so unjust. You never know which one to trust. See, your best friend might be the enemy. And they lure you to destruction. Don't ever be fooled by your smiles and fake up. You can never tell when they will strike you Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love You can never tell when they will strike you Cause they are enemies from within Wolfing sheep clothing
Now you smell of smoke. I know, right? I mean, we've been under the smoke all day. Wasting <laughs> corn and selling to customers. <laughs> oh, well, you shouldn't be smelling of smoke. Now you smell of smoke because of me. Now I'm used to the smell of the smoke. You are not. <clears throat> I'm sorry, just in case people like it. Oh, I like it. It's, it's just that. You said that what? It's my first time. What? It's my first kiss. <sighs> anyway, I have to go. <laughs> Bye. Exactly. Being kissed. Oh my god! You both kissed! No. You kissed me. And it felt strange, like butterflies in my tummy and goosebumps! Goosebumps! I know what you're saying! Babe, I know how that feels. The first time I was kissed, I locked myself in the room for three days. Ooh. Babe, it was an overwhelming feeling of palpitation, heart racing, sexual confusion. It's just... But don't worry, don't worry, okay? With time, you'll get over it. No, I, I, I don't want to get over it. Though. I like how it feels. I mean, I like the way he makes me feel. I like the way Benjamin makes me feel. Hey, I want it to help. Hey, my friend has been so no, My friend is in love. Somebody call Abulazo. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> tell me everything, tell me everything, details, details. See your best friend might be the enemy. And the lower you to destruction. Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake love. Hey, hey, my boss is in love. <laughs> You can say that again, bro. You can say that again, Bob. Ah, don't play with me now. Yes, sir. Ah, ah. And the lower you to destruction. Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake love. You can never tell when they will strike you. Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love. You can never tell when they will strike you Cause they are enemies from within, from within. Wolf in sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. They'll, they'll eat and drink with you drink But you. behind they'll curse you behind They are curse enemies you. from within, enemies from within. Wolf, in Wolf in sheep clothing They'll eat and drink with you drink But behind they'll curse you Pirates. I hope I will not regret and trust this contract into your hands. Listen, I have phobia for failure. So do not disappoint me, okay? Hey, Dad. Come back here, young man. Uh, let me call you back. What makes nauseous man coming from your body? Huh? Uh, I'm not perceiving anything, Dad. Oh, yes, you do, sir. You smell like a piece of shit. Now, I need good explanation why my son returns home smelling like that. Uh, oh, Dad, uh, the exhaust pipe of my car was bad, so we had to, like, fix it, you know. <laughs> so, 
I know perfectly well. That is the duty of the mechanic and not yours. Now, how is it possible you smell worse than him, the mechanic? Dad, I was standing very close to the mechanic, you know, like observing what you're doing with my car. Really? Yes. Are you aware that this offensive chemical that fuses from the body is a threat to your health? And you're not supposed to be anywhere close to that toss of fumes. Come, come to think of it, if my workers cannot do their job, why am I paying them? Dad, please just um, leave Bob out of this. Okay, I insist that you stand there. It was not his fault at all. Well, I'll just pressure you, but I'll be fine, okay? Just give me two seconds. I'll be back. Uh, what, what are your plans after you know, school? Um, I was thinking of doing a master's. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's laugh too. <laughs> what about you? Uh, my dad wants me to continue my education abroad, you know, to further my law career, so that I could help him in his, you know, political career. That's a good thing. Right? Very good thing. At least you have a course to follow. <sighs> like me now that does not have money to to further my education. I think I would just do like a small business to save up and pursue it. I'm not going to give up. I won't. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not, you know, planning on dumping your academics, you know, or giving up on it. It's a good thing you're not doing any of that. I never said I will give up. <laughs> I said I will not Give up. That's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amanda, I, I want you to come to my house. I would really love to introduce you to my parents as my friend and somebody I really want to be with. Your parents? Yes, of course. And, and just in case you're not comfortable coming alone, you can come with Kima. That's totally fine. I don't think that's a good idea. Trust me. Man, it's too sudden. It's okay. Do you understand? It's fine. I'll think about it. Okay. Works. Works for me. Okay. Bye. Don't ever be fooled by lies some fake love. You can never tell when they will strike you. Cause they are enemies from within, from within. Wolf in sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. They They'll eat and drink they with you drink But with behind you. they'll curse you They are enemies from within, from within. Wolf in sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. They They'll eat and drink with you But behind they'll curse you Your best friend might be the enemy And the lure you to destruction Don't ever be fooled There they are! <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome Come here uh, <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay. Come, let's go inside, let's go inside Please like some fake love you can never tell when they will strike you Cause they are enemies from within So what can I offer you, girls? Um, I, I will do Fanta Mm -hmm. Who is this one? You are who Fanta. Why? How? Please don't mind that. We'll have red wine. Oh, okay. uh, the most expensive one you have. Ah, yeah, I got the bottle around. I'm ready for you. Mm -hmm. Alright? Alright. 
What is wrong with you? What? Must you ask for wine? Have you ever, ever in your life tasted red? Just put red wine on your tongue like that. So what is wrong with you? I hope you are not the weapon fashion that gets my enjoyment today. <laughs> Kima. Bind you. What? Kima. Did they give birth to you and Fanta together? Is it Emelda and Fanta? Won't you let Fanta rest? You want to have diabetes? Look, this that place is fine, Shah. I need red wine. I'm so mind blown. Hey, Mama. There's money in this country. Oh. I am not known to compromise. Yes. Mr. Bruno has proven to be a bad egg. And every bad egg must be removed from the good ones. I will do it my own best way I should. From henceforth, Mr. Bruno is no more part of the contract. Yes. Do what you can. Bye. <laughs> you okay, yeah? Yeah, don't mind. Hey, Dad. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Ben, Dad, who are these girls? Oh, he's my girlfriend, Emilda, and her best friend. Your girlfriend? On whose permission? Huh? Younger. Who is your father? Hmm? Um, <clears throat> my father is late, sir. Who was he when he was alive? And who is your mother? Look, don't waste my time. Answer me. Because I need to know when my son is bringing leeches into my house. Because obviously, you girls look like wine. So, I would not repeat myself. Uh, um, sir, um, my father was a postman before he died. 
Oh, shut up. Huh? Oh, unbelievable, Ben. And you? Sir? What about you? Um, my, my, my father is, is a carpenter. And my mother is also... Oh, shut up! I've heard enough. So, you lost uncontrollable infested parasite. You have the guts to step your foot into my house. Oh, repulsive fleabacks. No manners whatsoever. No outer respect for class and difference. You allowed your undeserved selves into my house. Sit on my couch and you're drinking my wine. <laughs> Now, get out. Get out! Hey! And never return! Stay yes, away from me, sir! Hey, man! Hey! Because your uncle is a VC of this school, you and your stupid friends, you think you've arrived. You go about bullying students, especially Imelda and Kima. The next time I hear that nonsense again, you will have me to contend with. Like you never hear, you never hear about me. You should go and ask questions. I need to collect nonsense. And I'm going to give it to all three of you to vote. If you don't take time, you go collect. Will you shut up that your stupid mouth before I shut it for you? See this one, no? <laughs> Oma. Oh, Believe me when I say that, I cannot belittle myself to speak to you. Because I am way, way bigger than you. You guys are doing more than you can handle. And I tell you the truth, like this, eh? like this, I'm out for the three of you. You know, I am out for the three of you. Like this, I am out. Are you stupid? Do you know I'm actually, you... I'm because, it's because of you I'm actually keeping quiet. If you have, don't design this babe face now, what kind of nonsense is this? Did you just touch you me now? Mad? Are you I... mad? Like, you can run three or four. Holy Mary. Oh, Ben, Ben! You disappointed me. I never expected this from you. You know what I don't understand? Why are you so obsessed with wealth, power, and class? That's it. The three categories you just mentioned rule the world. No, 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 no. Rules your world. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not even power obsessed. I love Imelda. And that's the final. That will never happen in my house. Never! Ben, listen, I didn't give you good life so you could settle for less. Huh? No. Okay, if you want a girlfriend, why not go for the senator's daughter, I mean, Senator Maduka's daughter, or all the daughters of the senators, their high commissioner. What about uh, this honorable fellow's daughter? Ah, the one I'm grooming for you, the uh, CBN governor's daughter. All these names you just called, none of them. None of them intrigue me. Really? You cannot impose anybody on me, Dad. I can make my own decisions. Ah, my own choices. Not at the detriment of our status, Ben. I will not allow the daughter of a counselor, a nobody, a bloody lich, personality the field with nothingness. Ben, do not allow your stupidity at the best level because you will not like my action. See your best friend might be the enemy And they'll lure you to destruction Don't ever be fooled by smiles and faces He called us leeches and that is to mention a few Kimo, I have never been insulted like that in my entire life. I think it was very stupid of me to think that anything good would come out from me and Ben. You know, this is really painful. It just feels like coming from a poor background is, is, is like a curse. People never want to associate with you. 
There is never the opportunity to mix with the wealthy. And even when you do, you are being segregated from them. It's like world bloody apart. I, I, I guess this is it. We're done. Ben and I can never be together. Never. See, I, I, I support you on this one, okay? I support you on this one. But at least we can say that for the first time, we have tasted red wine. And nobody can... I'm sorry, I won't say that again. Benjamin saw in that good for nothing Amelda. Now it's beginning to make sense to me why he keep coming to our rescue each time we attack them. But how on earth did he belittle his status to go after that poor wretched girl? What did he say in that girl? I am yet to understand this. You know what? How I wish my uncle never gave them scholarship in the first place. By now, Benjamin would have been mine. Girl, I think what Benjamin saw was beauty. That Emelda girl, that beauty. Beauty? What do you mean by beauty? Is there beauty in poverty? Please, stop glorifying it. There is no beauty in poverty. Poor is poor. You are right. But if you still want Benjamin, we can make it happen. Right? Mm hmm Hmm. Let's see how it goes. Like, where the hell is Joy? What is keeping her? I think you should just call her. Just call her, please. How many times will I call her? Call her again. If she's not coming, let's just... I, I don't even understand anything that mom was saying. Some people don't get the concept of this lecture thing. I have to look for someone to actually explain ah. to us. Hey guys. Hey. Imelda. Imelda. Shima, please. Please help me and talk to your friend. Because right now you're the only person she's going to listen to. Please, Kima, help me talk to her. Because she can't, she can't even stand to have a proper conversation with me anymore. What were you expecting? That she was going to embrace you and welcome you with open arms after all your father put us through? Listen, I, I know what he did was terrible, but come on now, help me, please. Help me and talk to her. I love your friend so much. I really do. I can't afford to lose her right now. I, I can't at all. Look, even if I come to terms with helping you, what, what do I stand to gain? Name it. Anything you want. Yes. For real? It's done. Just, just name it. Ah, okay. Do you still have that kind of red wine we drank at your place the other day? It's not funny. <laughs> I won't have better brand. Trust me. Okay, so you give me two bottles of red wine. I'll give you two cartons of red wine. Are you serious? Yes. It's settled. Emelda is yours because what love has put together, no offensive father should put us under, and that's on period. Mm. Up top. Don't worry. Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake love. Kima. Are you okay? No, I'm very bothered. Why are you bothered? It's about you and Benjamin. Listen, I dreamt about you both last night. You were dressed in this beautiful, glamorous white wedding gown mm. with pretty high heels. There were a lot of people in attendance and I was your chief bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Such a prolific sight. <laughs> Kima, you expect me to believe that? Why would I lie about such a thing? Listen, babe, you and Benjamin are meant for each other. You love him and he loves you. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Don't, don't let anything that transpired ruin 
everything beautiful. Remember, love is about compromises. And you must make so many of them if you're truly in love with each other. Wait, Kima. Are you not the same person that told me to run away a few days ago? Now you're sitting down here and stating the exact opposite. Eh, eh, I know I said that. That was in the heat of the moment. It was based off of angered emotions. And I'm over it. Okay? Babe, you need to give him another chance. Please. I can't. I can't, please. I can't let anything mess with my mental health right now. I can't let any, any entanglement jeopardize it at all. Ah. Babe, we jeopardize it though. You will jeopardize it because my, my two crates of red wine is at stake if you don't. Jesus Christ. Kima. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, why would somebody like you be saying something like that seriously? <laughs> so you want to sell me out because of ordinary two, red, two crates of red wine? There is nothing ordinary about two crates of red wine. Nothing ordinary about it. Uh -uh. It means the world to me. Okay, you, you, when, when you tasted it for the first time, don't lie, how did you feel? Tell me, how did you feel? <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm very scared, you're losing your mind. Afternoon, sir. I do not need your unsolicited greeting. I'm only here because of the intensity of the matter on ground. And for me to step my foot in here means you're in for the battle you've already lost. So you should be terrified. Mm, no doubt. This disdain detested creature. Is sure your daughter. Mm, 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 mm. No, sir. I will not allow you to come into my house and talk to my daughter anyhow. I will not allow that, sir. Thank you very much, sir. House? <laughs> she called this a house. Excuse me. This is not a house. This is a shithole. Listen to me carefully, you both. Hold your straight dog to avoid straight bullet. If she's on heat, let her go out. Go to the street and meet her kind. Meet dogs to satisfy her desire. And leave my son alone. I will not entertain her roving herself around my son. Not again. And this will be my very first and last warning. And for your own good, make sure she obeys. Who's 
there? Benjamin. Hello. What do you want? I came to see Melda. What for? Papa, she's not picking my calls anymore. She has, she's, she's not taking them. I don't know what's wrong. As it should. Okay. Look, Benjamin. I respect the fact that you see something good in my daughter. And I also appreciate the goodness you've all, you always shown her. But it's time for you to leave her alone. Please, look for someone else. Whatever feelings you think you have for her, please let it die right away. Please. How do you expect me to do that? How do you expect me to do that? What I feel for your daughter is true and it's pure. Why, why are you trying to separate us, Ma? Because your father is against it. Your father is against the fact that we are poor and you're from rich family. Your father came here to warn her. And he even mandated me, me to ask her to stop seeing you. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Look, Benjamin, please. Please look for someone my daughter alone. Look, I prioritize my daughter over everything else. Leave her alone, please. I'm very sorry my dad came here and harassed both of you. I'm very, very sorry. I feel how do you want me to stay away from your daughter? I can't even promise you that. I can't, I can't, I can't go through life without Imelda. What do you expect me to do now? Please, please, man, I need to see Imelda, please. I'm sorry. I understand how you feel. I'm sorry that things have to go this way. You have to stop coming here. This is the reality you have to conform with right now. Please go. Go and don't come here again, please. I don't want your father coming here to, to rain insults on us. Please. What did you do? What did you do? Ben, where are your manners? Is bad to talk to your father? Good day, Dad. Good day, sir. And what is this all about? You went to your mother's house and confronted her and her mother. You want her to stay away from me. So, is it not what it's supposed to be done? So, is it not clear that that stupid girl is the one responsible, making you not to think straight? You were supposed to travel abroad after you dropped your pain from last paper in your school. But what happened? Huh? What happened? You neglected your visa appointment, trying to throw away your future because of that gold digger. First of all, that she's not a gold digger. Hmm. I didn't throw away my future. You, you want me to travel up because of your selfish interest, because of your ambitions. There's so many prolific investors in Nigeria that I want to attend, but no, because of your selfish interest, you do not want me to. Oh, shut up! How dare you! How dare you talk to your father in such manner? Listen to me and listen, God. You will travel abroad and study law. And that is what will happen. Read my lips. If you continue in this you irrational pace, <laughs> I won't hesitate to strip you of everything you yes. have. Take it. Take everything. For still loving the mother, you can't stop me. The only way you can stop me is to rip my heart out and stab me with a dagger! No, no, no! In clear terms, kill me. Life is not just about only wealth, power and influence. You're getting it all wrong. See, if your son said he likes that girl, allow him be, let him explore his youth. Never, honey, I said never, not under my word. It's unthinkable and, and disheartening to know that you of all people will support such a ruling relationship. Listen, 
we are worlds apart. Yes. That girl is a gold digger, looking for a gold mine. I won't allow that to happen. There are some poor, probably, her education has come to an end. Is that the kind of personality you want our son to end up with? <laughs> Honey, I will tell you something you don't know. It's nothing but a black male. Yes, they will so blackmail our son to making him do things for them. Before you know it, he will start to spend everything he has on them at the detriment of his own future. At the end, what happened? The poor girl will dump him for somebody else after she has successfully treated him, treat every dime from him. Well, to some extent, you have a valid point. But everybody's not like that. Can't we just give them the benefit of doubt? <laughs> that benefit of doubt can only happen when they are separated. Let her go work, make a living for herself and her mother. Make the name, the influence, the power and the affluence, and return to me. Then I will see what I can do. Oscar, you're so unbelievable. Marva, what is wrong with the rich helping the poor? Tell me. Everything. Like I said, is a black me. I don't wish to continue this conversation. Spain, our son, we have nothing to do with that poor thing. And that is final. See your best friend might be the enemy. And the Lord you to destruction Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake love You can never tell when they will strike you Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love You can never tell when they will strike you Cause they are enemies from within don't forget what I told you about that girl, okay? Mm -hmm. Just stay apart from her for now until I have an understanding with your father. All right. Okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. Stay safe, okay? Yeah. Have a safe flight, okay? All right. Call me every day. I will. They are enemies right from on. within. From within. sheep clothing. Within sheep clothing. They'll eat and drink with you. But behind they'll curse you. They are enemies from within. From within. sheep clothing. They'll eat and drink with you. Behind they'll curse you. Behind they'll curse you. Yeah. Yeah. Please now, just why, why are you running away from me, Melda? It's me. What do you want from me, Benjamin? What? Why can't you just leave me alone for Christ's sake? You know I can't do that. I can't promise I'll leave you. I can't even leave you alone. Do you want your father to kill me and my mother? Is that what you want? Listen, he's just threatening you. Nothing more than that. He's not going to do that. It's just threat? Yes. Do you know the, the, the threat your father has been threatening me and my mom? Do you know? Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Please just... Please just leave this city. Okay, let's just go to somewhere new. Start our lives afresh. Friend, you know I cannot leave my mother. I can't leave my mother for anybody. Oh, okay, okay. She's going to come with us. Excuse me? I will start up a new business for her. I will get her an apartment. I will get us a new house. I mean, we will start afresh. If you, you, you can just say yes. That's, that's all. Just say yes, Simeonda. Please.
A bird who sings too loudly, no matter how sweet the turn, will be the first to fall by the altar. You know what to do, don't you? That there is a lot to all this man. What is actually going on? Come on. He wants us to elope. What? Emelda. So what did you say? I said I told you now that I'll give him an answer this night. I promised him. Going to be. I don't know yet. What call? Do you want to buy something? Ma, you can't do that now. We don't. Uh, Excuse uh, me. Madame. <laughs> One on one. One on one. Ah. Hello, what do you do, Abdul? Hmm. You know me now.
what, what's his problem? Eh? What, what is the problem? Does he want us there before he leaves us alone? Eh? What, what, what's all this? They should leave us alone now. They should leave us alone. We are in our poor house. Let them be in their own rich house. What's all this now? Eh? I, I mean, why is he still calling you? Hmm. Oh, this, this, this boy. Take, take this phone and block this boy. And make sure you don't ever unblock him. Any day I see him set his foot into this his house again, he will regret he did so. What is his problem? He and his, his family should leave us alone. They should leave us, let us, let us live, live in, our, in our poor house. And what's all this now? Why is Mary Chibu there anymore? Block? No, 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 no. Come on, I mean, why, why would you block me now? Why, why, why would you block me? Come on, I, I, I can't do this alone now. Why, why would you block me? Preventing me from seeing the woman I love and she's draining me. I can't, I, I can't take it anymore. Okay. Listen, I'm ready to pay two million naira for you to help me do this. I'm serious like that. I I don't understand. Sir, you know what you're proposing is very intense. I know, I know, I know. And it may make us lose our job. Yeah. And at the same time, you realize your father is a very influential man. Listen, he's not going to do anything. In fact, he's not going to know. I mean, there are thousands of um, cleaning agencies like, like, like you guys around. He's not going to see you guys. Just think about it. I'm ready to even do more. But you know, he will not take it lightly if everything goes wrong. Nothing is going to go wrong. He's never going to know. Okay? So just put me in one of the sack bags. Stop me with that and take me out. And uh, one, one more thing, you just ar arrange a um, bike, like bike that will like they take me off. Okay. Okay. Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love. They can never tell when they will strike you. Cause they are enemies from within. In sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. They will eat and drink with you, drink but with behind them curse you. They are curse enemies you. from within. Enemies from within. Wolf in sheep clothing, in sheep clothing. They will eat yeah, and drink with you, but behind them curse you. Yeah, yeah curse I think I love the product. About um, hundred billion is on the high side. Why don't we do uh, like eighty million? Oh, come on. You know, I have several agents. I, I, if I call them, they can get me property in the GV. Huh? But yes, let's do 80. Is that a D? A D. Oh, okay. Uh, you see, I'm actually buying this property for my son. It's a gift for him on his birthday. And it's meant to be a surprise. Okay? Well, um, I will do payment uh, when the documents are ready. So you made that possible quickly. Yeah, my lawyer will get back to you. Okay then. Good day. Bye. <sighs> and who's calling? Honorable Oscar here. The doctor, are you out of your mind? Listen, I have just a son, and he's where I left him 
my house. And no, 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 he doesn't have a bike. He doesn't ride such talk or having an accident with anyone. Listen, it must be a mistaken identity. You have to do your research. Yeah, right. What nonsense. What's that? He's calling again. Hello. I just told you, the boy you have in your hospital is not my son. And he can never be my son. Okay? Listen carefully. Don't you ever call this line. Let me call Ben. Ben, Ben. Not with you, though. Playing number knowledge ever. This is my band. It's number knowledge ever. Okay, whatever. you get here, Ben? The last I remember is you were on that close watch. But you sneaked out of the house. Only God knows how. To what purpose, Ben Jabe? How is not you, you went to see that wretch? Oh God. It's because of how you are lying down on this hospital bed. Now can you stop? Can you stop calling her name? My girlfriend, so if you had just allowed me to leave the house, I would not have been here having this conversation with you. Hmm. So impressive. Even in your pain, you are still defending that girl. You are not thinking about yourself, but about that wretch, that undeserving straight dog. I need to see the doctor. Uh, good day, Chief. Oh, good day, doctor. Oh, uh, uh, doctor, yeah. tell me the truth. How bad is his condition? Um, um, the good thing is he would leave. He would come out of it. Um, although he sustained some minor bruises, but that is not a problem. We we'll just do a few patches. Um, give and take in a week. In a week's time, he should be strong enough to go back home. No. No, doctor. I would not want him to be discharged so fast. He's my son. My only son. So I want him to stay behind and, and get all the treatment and care that he truly needs. That, that's not a problem, sir. We, we can handle that. We can handle that. It, it's, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just Okay, thank you. Oh. I left my son under your watch. Confided on the worst of this house. Yet, he found himself out there without none of you knowing it. We're sorry, sir, boss. He played us all. We didn't see him leave this house, and nobody came in, except for those waste management workers. What waste management? Huh? We don't know, sir, but they were train number. So you allow those dirty unchains into my apartment? Who keep waste inside the house? Sir. Your son told us that your wife sent an email for them to come inside and pick the dead. Nonsense! I ran nonsense. And none of you see it right to call my attention. Hmm? 
those were the same people you, my son used to trick all of you dull brains. Wait outside. Now I need their names. I need the names of the waste management. All of them. I need to fish them out. You don't know, sir. You don't know. Yes, you sir. people are nothing but a pack of disgrace. I saw you highly, but now I think differently. You are nothing but a bunch of lunatics. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry for yourself. You need to pray. You need to pray for dear, pray to dear Lord that nothing happens to my son. If not, I will make the deal out of you. You will pay. Even your life will not be enough to pay. I will make sure your next generation are wiped it out. I'm sorry, sir. Please pardon my forgiveness. Shut up! I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Just try and get some rest, okay? And leave the apology to when you, you're strong enough. I mean, the nurse called us. <laughs> so, we had to leave everything. I even had to lie to my mom to come here with, with Kima. You mean, you blocked my number. It was no way I was able to reach you. I had to escape from my house. That's where the accident happened. I had to block your number. I mean, who wouldn't after what happened? We survived what those thugs did to us by, by God's miracle. Those people actually came to kill us. Thank God that God intervened. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Don't worry, just... The only apology I need from you right now is for you to get better and get back on your feet, okay? I mean, I feel better already. Your presence here is therapeutic. I mean, I feel better already. Who allowed these two girls into this place? I'm sorry, sir, but they said they are his friends and he even confirmed it. These girls are nothing but plagues to my son's life. Especially this one. She is the reason my son is lying down on this hospital bed. Since she manifested herself into my son's life, she has caused damages to my son and the entire family. Girl, you have dared me enough. Take it, sister. Don't ever be fooled by smiles and fake love. Babe, your mother does not know that we are here, okay? You cannot tell her about this. Of course not. There's a secret between us. See, just go. Thank you. Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love. You can never tell.
Stay one place. Stay one room. Why you move? You dance away. Sorry. Come on, stay one place. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, How are you? Sir. How, How are, are you? you? I, I'm, I'm fine. Sir, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I promise I will never ever follow my friend to see your son again, sir. Please. please. Kill you? And who told you I want to kill you? Come on, stand up. Stand up. Stand up! Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stand up. I'll, I'm, I'm up. My dear. I need your hand. Stop crying. Okay? Okay. I agree. Wait, we started on the wrong foot. But I promise you I'll make amends. Come on, wipe off that confusion. I know you're confused. Okay, well, let me explain. I want you to be a part of my family. Yes. I've seen you as a girl who has a better and yeah, promising future than that of your friend. So I want you for my son. Because my, my friend is in love with your son. They, they were made for each other. Overtaking is allowed. Keep quiet. This is your pro Scum, you go call her too. Yes. This is your problem. Listen. I am his father. I make the decisions. Okay? I am saying you will be with my son. You are the girl to end with him and not that, your friend. Okay? I will make sure you have a good life. Both of you. You will have the opportunity to travel to any part of the world. Attend the best school. Hmm? Sir, as, as enticing as your offer is, and, and believe me when I say I want, in, I want nothing more than to have a good life for myself, but... I cannot betray my friend like this. Uh, she, she, she's more than a friend to me. She's, she's my sister. In her, I found a blood pack. She's, she's a part of me. And I, I won't betray me if I, if I do something like this to her. <laughs> wow. Wow. I must commend your courage. Bravo. But answer me. Are you telling me you would rather throw away this opportunity of a lifetime? Hmm? Opportunity to have a better life for yourself and your family? Just to maintain a, a relationship that doesn't even worth it? Huh? The, the true test of integrity, sir, is your blunt refusal to be compromised. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I cannot do this. I can't. I can't. It's okay. It's all right. I understand. I will let you leave. But before then, my men will take you to the hospital to see my son. Okay? For the record, he's aware of this arrangement. In fact, he ignited it. So I want you to go over to the hospital and tell my son to his face that you are not interested in his offer. Hmm? Hey, are you just going to leave without giving your father-in-law at least a hug? Huh? Come here. Move! <laughs> your wings. I believe I can fly. Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love. You can never tell when they will strike you. You'll be fine, okay? You have to stay strong, Benjamin. And whatever it is that is going on. I need you to remember your affections for Imelda. Okay, I, I know you love her and she loves you too. She told me about your plans to elope with her and her mother. And I promise I will do everything in my power to help out, to make that possible. 
and nothing can ever happen between us. Your father told me about his intentions and how you consented to it. I... I don't understand what you're saying. He wants me to marry you. And of course, I, I, I turned that down. He equally sent me here to say to your face, so this is me saying it to you. It can never happen. Because I love Emelda and I would never cause her such pain. No, I, I... I understand from the part where you said we were going to elope and all that. Yes, I understand, boy. I'm not following what you're saying anymore. What are you saying? You mean you're not aware about anything? No. Don't ever be fooled by lies and fake love. You can never tell when they will strike you. Because they are enemies from within. Wolf in sheep clothing. They will eat and drink But behind the person. What are you doing? I want to start cooking now. Uh, what are you making? Good day. Ah, good day, good afternoon. Sorry, please, I have a message for you. Me? Yes, someone gave me the gift. From who? Someone gave me this fight ticket. From who? I don't know. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you. What's that? What's that? Melda, what's that? Uh -uh. Mom, why would Kima do this to me? Why? Kima is like a sister to me. She's my best friend. See you when. You know, this means just one thing. She was never a friend to me. So for someone to do this to her own friend, she was just an enemy in disguise. Me? What? This explains why Mr. Oscar never liked you. But why would Kima do this? Imelda, come! to yourself. Keep it to yourself. You backstabbing, lying bitch. That's what you are, yes. Kima, I thought we were actually friends. We we're supposed to be sisters. And you did this to me. I did. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. You don't understand what I'm talking about. You cannot understand what I'm talking about because you're a lying bitch. That's what you are. You're a bad friend. You're a terrible friend, Kima. Baby, I... My friend, will you shut up? Shut up your mouth. I can't believe you would do this to me. Me, Melda, that's who. Kima, you're a bad friend. You're a terrible friend. And I will deal with you, don't worry. I will deal with you seriously that you won't even believe that me, Melda, did it to you. What did I do? Oh, what did Melda? I do? I don't understand. Okay. What is going on? You're asking me. You're asking me, right? Did you go to see Benjamin's father? Yes, I did. I did you go to visit Benjamin in the hospital? I did. All right. I, I, I was going to come to your house to tell you something. Kima, explain this. Yes, explain it. You can't. Just consider that this friendship is over between anything that we have gone. Be your best friend, might be the enemy. I'm the Something is not right at all. My father is definitely planning something. I just can't figure it out. And I'm sure it's up to no good. Because why would you send Kima here to talk to me about marriage? And if she felt as if I knew what she was talking about, well, I knew nothing. What are 
you praying, God? What are you praying? Cause they are enemies from within. From within. Wolf in sheep clothing. Wolf in sheep clothing. They'll eat and drink with you. But behind they'll curse you. They are enemies from within. Wolf in sheep clothing. They'll eat and drink with you. Behind they'll curse you. What are you doing here? Benjamin, what are you doing here? Look, you're no longer welcomed in my house, so please leave. Mom, please. Mom, please, just hear me out. Uh, 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 uh. You really need to hear me out, please. Please, I am not your mother. And I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Please just leave my house. Leave my house right now. Please, you really need to hear me out, please. I don't want to come back here and meet you. Leave my house. Nilda. Nilda. What are you doing here? What again do you want, Benjamin? Is Kima not good enough for you? Eh? Is she not? Oh, so you were enjoying playing two friends, right? That's what you were doing. Well, let me tell you something. You can have her to yourself, okay? But guess what? I am done with you. No, um, I don't understand what you're saying. What's going on? To so what? What's going on? I, 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 I'm not following. You don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I applaud you, you know. You're very good at what you do. I applaud you. <laughs> Since you don't understand, refresh your memories. What is this? What do you think it is? What do you have to say? <laughs> I swear to God, you know that. Mm -hmm. This is not real. I, swear, I have no idea about this. My father. My dad, he's, mm -hmm. he's the one behind all this. He planned all these things out now. I swear to God, I don't, I, I don't know anything about this. That, that, that man is a master planner. He has planned all this. He's kind of... Trust me, believe me. I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Believe you. Benjamin, did you say believe? Believe in what exactly? Do you know what you are? You are a pathetic liar. That's what you are. Listen, I have no idea this happened. I have no idea about this. You have to believe me, please. Look, look. It doesn't seem this. Benjamin, I caused the day that I met you. I caused it like it was the biggest mistake of my life. Have you not done enough? Have you? You have ruined the friendship that I had with Kima. You can have her like I said. Now get out of my house. Get out! Okay, okay, Emmy. Um... You know what? Let's, let's go and meet Kima, right? Let's ask her what's up, like, because she, she's going to clarify you. I, I promise she's going to explain everything to you because this is not even true. This, this picture is not, it's not what it seems. We should go and meet Kima. Yes. We should go and meet Kima. Please. Let's go. Stand up. Leave me alone. I want to be left alone, please. Imelda! What's wrong with you? Imelda! Come in. We seek the presence of your daughter. Imelda? Yes, Imelda. This is 
this is a murder. Just a murder? Yes. This is a I'm Detective James. Here's my colleague, Detective John. Okay. You're under arrest for the murder of Miss Kima. Um, officer, she, she, she did not kill Kima. She did not kill my mother. Please, please don't allow her play for her. Officer, she did not kill. I killed her. What? Doctor, I left my son in your care. Are you telling me that this facility is a competent one? I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, don't worry, we'll do everything within our power to make sure we find him and, and bring him back. How can my sick boy? This is so lucky, he's sick bed. Nobody knew it. Like the whole building, nobody saw him. Huh? Are you here telling me? It's just take, take it easy, sir. We'll, we'll find him. Who is this? Excuse me. Arrested for murder. Listen, this is preposterous. It's unimaginable. My son cannot do such. It is not a murder. I order you right now. Release him at once. They can't call on me. Can you imagine? They can't. They call on me. How old is Call me. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Kima is dead. Kima is dead. Ah. How did all this get to this one? Eh? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, my heart's so rest in peace. It's okay, just calm down. Okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And now Ben has been arrested. How did we get here? So this. It's okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Eh? Your crying will not change anything. Crying will not change anything. Don't, don't make yourself sick, please. I beg you in God's name. Please. Oh, please. Joe, call me, please. Stop crying. Ben, what is this? How did things get this bad? I never intended for this to happen, man. You think I'm going to believe that Kokambu so you tell everyone that you are a murderer? No. Not my son. I know you can do anything but it. But being a murderer, no. You know you didn't do it, right? Now speak. Say it with your own mouth. Tell me exactly. How it happened. First of all, man, you have to make me a promise. As long as it will not take you away from me, I will oblige to everything you say. Now speak. I consented to everything because I couldn't sit by and watch that ruin an innocent girl's life. What? He sent Hog to do his dirty job. Since he left, he has been from one mess to another. What are you saying? You mean your father killed that girl? Not directly. But he pioneered everything. He wanted Emilda to go to jail. So that he could separate us. That was his plan. You can never tell when they will strike you. Never be fooled by lies and fake love. You can never tell when they must. You all have five minutes to tell me how you all did it. Five minutes to know whether there's still salvation left for you all. Because your boss is going down and he knows it. 
This time his crime has caught up with him. And not even his power, his influence and money can save him. And I will make sure of that. And I repeat, how did it happen? Your time is ticking. Speak! Um, boss, um, the activities we carried out was based on mandates. We are mandated to do it. It was, it was an ins instruction that we need to carry out from our boss. So we don't get against his rules. What do you people want? What are you doing here? Look, I do I do I don't want any troubles. I, I, I don't want any problem, please. Just just leave. Done, sir. The girl is dead. They should do it. No, boss. I did it. Mm. Boss, we bent it and then we killed her like a chicken. We killed her, we, we pressed the neck. Yeah, no traces. What's it? <laughs> Very good. Now the wretch is gone for good. Never to see the bright sun again. Hmm. Thank you, boss. Permission to follow us, sir. Sir, we don't mind if we can have a bottle of wine to celebrate our day. Get one from the bar God and get drunk. God bless you. I killed her myself. I strangled her. Then I stabbed her with a knife. My boss asked me to do so. She's a stubborn girl. The evil one here. Of course, I know you're a man with no conscience. You're sitting here and your only son is languishing in cell for a crime you gave life and purpose. I know all your skills. You know everything you did. They told me everything. You 
pioneer this blood fuse and yet you stay calm. How do you do it? Now listen to an order. Nothing must happen to Benjamin. I want him out of that detention ASAP. You are going to release him and you will take responsibility for all your evil. You are going to turn yourself in for an arrest and you will confess to all your crime. I don't care how. Even if it means losing your heart, I'm going to pull it out and smash it on the floor for a just cause. Don't you ever take my words for granted. And I repeat, do not take my words for granted. Because you don't even know what is coming for you. You have only two hours. Two hours to get that done. And your time is ticking. And I repeat, your time is ticking. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Oscar. Yes. Don't move. move we have all of you surrounded. Yes. We found you guilty of the murder of Miss Kima. Therefore, you're under arrest. You and your boys. After several investigations, we found out that Mr. Benjamin Oscar is innocent and has been set free. Therefore, you have every right to remain silent for whatever you say or do. Yes. Put that. Hey. Drop it on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Drop it. Now. Weapon on the floor right now. Drop it! Chief. Tell your boys to stand down! No! Drop it slowly. 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 I, I, I'm seeing it. Slowly. Slowly. Stand down. Stand down. Yes, stand down. Give me, give me the pistol. If you move, I shoot, I shoot you. Hey, stand there. I'm coughing. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. If you, if you try anything, yes. You have face cap. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes straight. Keep it straight. If you move, I shoot and you, I shoot you people. Now move. Slowly. Sir. Mr. Oscar. Slowly. Now Hold move. It. Yes. Slowly. Yes. Hold it there. Slowly. Slowly. Now Do move. Make any move. If you Slowly. make any attempt, I blow your eyes off. Hey. Now Hold move. It. If you try anything funny, I blow your eyes off. Move it. We have you surrounded. Now move slowly. Yes. Don't try the funny move. I'm watching. I'm watching. Move, move, move it. Don't. I'm watching slowly. Move. Keep moving. Don't go move it. You're welcome to my home. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, I'm just meeting you for the first time. Okay, my son and your daughter met and they had good and bad memories. I'm going to sponsor your daughter's education and I'm going to sponsor it to every height that she wants to attain. Ah, thank you very thank you much, much Mark. Ma. Thank you. But well, that comes with a condition that my son and your daughter here will part ways and you will make sure that it will happen. Ma, if, if that is the case, I will make sure they, they don't ever come close to each other. My, my daughter will never go close to your son again. I promise you that she will never go close to your son. Yes, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Okay. So, I will want to brief you a little that happened in the course of their friendship, which she is aware of. And in the course of that, she lost her friend. She knows what happened. 
so like I said before, I want both of them to part ways so that to we'll watch them and know what, I, what they feel for themselves is real. Because um, infatuation and love are two different things. And then at the end of the day, if their love comes strong, then fate will decide whatever is going to happen. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. I promise you, with, with my life, she will never go close to your son again. I will make sure she never goes close to your son ever again. No need to stress it because uh, my son here is going abroad next week to further his education. And that will sort everything out. Right? Alright. Thank you very much, ma. You're welcome. Bless you. Thank you very much. As for the other girl that lost her life, I'm going to visit her family house and Wish over help that I can. I will render. Okay? That's it. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you very much, ma. You're welcome. See your best friend, my baby. Never tell why 